So as you can see, the pile of wood's got a bit smaller. These are the offcuts from the rafters. So as you saw on the last video, we were just um, doing the pattern rafters, weren't we? So I've made the patterns, cut 11 pairs. In properly here, I'm not falling off the scaffolding. So, as you can see, bulk of the main roof is now up. So, obviously, the cut off in line with the existing house. So, not sure if I'll have a fascia yet, but it will certainly carry the guttering. You can see how they're all bolted together where the bird's mouth sits on the wall plate. It's quite a long way down. And you can see the way that the ceiling joists go across now. But so, attached to the ridge at the top there, all equally spaced. You come over this side here. So, you can see the big 9 by 3 beam. Uh, you can see that the, as I showed you on the floor, the pattern rafter for this particular bird's mouth, slightly different. Then this is the other end of the beam here. So what happens now is the remaining ceiling joists come in these joist hangers here. They will sit in here, come across to this section of wall over here. You see where I just about see where I started digging out. You can, if you're very clear, you can just see the pencil line. And then this section of roof here, the rafters go up this way and back down the other side. So they go up here and back down and then they clip into this roof at 90 degrees and then we can build this gable up. But that's the roof section there. It's a very traditional looking cut roof. You can see the ridge and all the plum cuts on the top. All now together, this, uh, this one here will create a binder so as you can see it goes across the top of the ceiling joists like that and then what will happen is you can stand at this end of the ceiling joists here and you can sight one through make sure it's absolutely dead level tack it to this and that means that the ceiling joist can't move backwards and forwards and then you can just mark out this to match the rafters at the top of course a significant difference between this and your standard truss roof is the fact that up here Whereas a truss roof, you would only be this width of timber wide, okay, and you wouldn't have a ridge in there. Of course, this one, you've got the ceiling joists here running alongside. So they act as a part of a strengthening deal as well. You can see the, uh, the beam on the far side there. Okay, so obviously with this, you've all made it on site. And there you go. Quite sweet, it's a very low pitch, this one. Um, but there you go, that's a kind of traditional cut roof in its various forms.